Hello everyone and welcome to another Soulful Sunday. And today we're going to talk about the fundamentals of manifestation, magic, prayer, any of those things where you take your wish, your intention, and you want to create a result or you're looking to manifest a result. And what I want to say is that some of the basics are belief. Why bother praying or spells or manifestation if you don't believe it's possible? You can't just do it hoping it works. To really have an, a, a true effect, you have to believe that it will. And then when you're doing it, to feel that you are already in a state of receiving your results that you're already in a place of acceptance or receiving where the results at the, at, in your heart, you feel, I already know these things are happening. I already know this is on its way to me. I already know that this is part of what is to be. And that I believe that my concept, my action, my effort, again, my prayer, my wish, whatever it is, my manifestation activity, that I believe that this is effective powerful, limitless, and then is closure. Once we give a prayer, we say amen, or so mote it be, or as it, as it is, or whatever, whatever, however you close your prayers for whatever way you do it, there's closure. And it's the same also with manifestation actions, or as some would call it spell work, is that you have a a lead up to it. You have a belief in it without questioning it. And then you create it with as if it already is. And then you close it with gratitude, appreciation, but you let it go. Trusting, trusting the process. You can't let it go and hope that it works or let it go and think, oh gosh, I hope that works. Or try it again uh, 20 minutes later or uh, keep doing the same thing over and over again. If you actually believe in limitless energy work, if you actually believe that we are capable of doing this, you also have to believe that you have created what needs to be done for this manifestation. Now, I'm not saying that we're just going to sit around lazily and hope that gold bars come flying down from the sky and I hope none do because they're very heavy and it would hurt us. <laughs> but we want to get to a place where we are able to trust that our spells, wishes, prayers are going to be received, are, are already um, a thing that can happen, not hope. And then to have closure and to let it be so, to let go of it and to let it, let it happen now. And to not sit there and wonder, oh, I hope it worked. Maybe I need to do it again tomorrow morning. Oh, I wonder if it worked. I hope that worked. Or maybe I did it wrong or any of that. That's, that's why bother? Why bother? Build it up. Trust the process. Create a cone of power. Create an energy cyclone of a sort with your beautiful love and light and effort and belief and all of it. And then let that thing go and let it get out there to, to add to the energy that already is and for it to do what it needs to do. I hope this helps. It's basic fundamentals of magic. Uh, for if you're a, a witch or any of that, it's also basic fundamentals of the power of prayer is that you also have to let it go at the end, bring closure, same stuff. I hope this helps everybody. Have a good day. Talk to you next week.